in the toll booth of a parking garage in East London, Martin Lomax is watching the Human Centipede first sequence, a film that he is obsessed with on his laptop. Short, obese, asthmatic, mentally challenged man who makes YouTube videos with his wife and wondering if the silly hobby's ever going to get him anywhere, I mean, Martin, lives in an unkept council flat with his emotionally abusive mother, who blames him for having his father put in prison for physically, psychologically, and sexually abusing Martin when he was a boy. Dr. Sebring, Martin's psychiatrist, touches him inappropriately and prescribes him with heavy, heavy medication. Martin keeps a pet centipede. In an appointment with Dr. Sebring at home, Mrs. Lomax talks about her son's unsettling discussion about creating a 12-person centipede. Dr. Sebring says that Martin's obsession with a 12-person centipede and centipedes in general is a phase relating the pain of a centipede's bite and the phallic shape of the sexual abuse that he endured at the hands of his father. Mrs. Lomax remains resentful and apathetic towards Martin. Martin acquires a dingy warehouse after killing the owner and landlord and begins abducting people to use for his 12-person centipede. His victims include Ian and his girlfriend Kim, Alan, a businessman, Tim, a rich man, and his pregnant wife, Rachel, Valerie and Kerry, two drunk girls who catch Martin masturbating with sandpaper, and a man called Greg. Martin's mother finds and destroys his scrapbook in disgust after unsuccessfully attempting a murder-suicide. When Mrs. Lomax attempts to dispose of the centipede, Martin kills her by bludgeoning her to death with a crowbar, then lures his detested neighbour Dick to the scene before shooting and kidnapping him. Back in the toll booth, Martin catches one of the CCTV security cameras at Dr. Sebring and a cabbie named Paul having sex with a prostitute named Candy. Martin kills Sebring in a fit of rage after killing Paul. Martin's final victim is Ashlyn Yenny, the actress who played Jenny in The Human Centipede, whom Martin laws under false pretenses of being Quentin Tarantino's casting agent. Martin assembles his centipede, following his notes and sketches from the human centipede. Martin severs ligaments in each person's knees to prevent them from fleeing and uses a hammer to knock out their teeth. However, Martin cuts into the buttocks of Alan too deeply, causing him to bleed to death. Instead of surgical tools, he uses a staple gun, duct tape and cum. One of them wasn't correct, but you're not really sure which one to attach each person's lips to the next person's buttocks. Rachel, who was planned to be at the front of the centipede, is presumed dead. Martin places her in the corner. Martin's human centipede is ultimately 10 people long, with Ashlyn in front. Martin experiments having his centipede walk around and force feeds Ashlyn chicken soup using the funnel and tube when she refuses to eat from the dog bowl. Disturbed by Ashlyn's screams, he tears her tongue out with pliers. He injects each victim with a laxative, forcing them to evacuate their bowels into the mouth of the person behind them. He wraps his genitals in barbed wire and grapes Kim, who is at the back of the centipede. Rachel awakens and runs outside screaming in labour. She leaps into a victim's car and bears her second child. When Martin pursues her, she stomps on the accelerator, accidentally crushing her baby's skull in the process, and drives away. The centipede separates into two halves. Furious that his centipede is ruined, Martin kills all the victims. As he hesitates to kill Ashlyn, she punches him in the crotch and shoves the funnel into his rectum before dropping his pet centipede into it. Martin fatally stabs her in the neck and staggers out in agony. The scene cuts back to the toll booth with Martin re-watching the credits of the human centipede on his laptop with exactly the same reaction as the initial scene.